What's going on guys, so Mighty here. So today I'm actually not going to be doing the usual videos that I do, like a montage or uh, whatever other videos I do, let's plays or something like that. Today I'm actually going to be talking to you about uh, my experiences on investing skins and uh, how I personally made money from Rust skins and how you guys can make money from Rust skins as well. Alright, so this is obviously the front screen of Rust. We've got Rust, we've got Play Game, we've got Inventory, and then we've got Store. So what you want to do, you want to go to Store. So this is this week's skins. Uh, at the moment, there is no clothes and no armor in this week's skins, only weapons and other, as you can see. We've got the guns, and then we've got the chest, armored door, and the furnace. We're going to talk about weapons first. So we'll go with the Glory Thompson and the mysterious Colt Thompson. Uh, me personally, as a collector and investor, uh, I am already straight up going to say to you guys, these are the first two guns, and if you're not willing to spend too much money, these are the only two guns you're going to have to buy to invest this week to make money. So you can buy however many of these you'd like. Uh, I'd recommend usually buying two of each in case you wanted to keep one but it really depends on if you want to keep them or not, or if you just want to make money, then you can you can buy it two or three, or you can even buy more if you'd like. Uh, it really depends on how much money you have and how much money you're keen on making. Um, obviously, there is a chance that they might not go up in price, but I'll tell you why I think they personally, I personally think they will go up in price. The first thing you need to know, there is only actually two Thompsons on the community market. So, you talk simple economics here, supply and demand. There's only two Thompsons on the market at the moment. If someone doesn't like either of those two, and they want a Thompson skin, then they're going to have to like either of one of these two. So, what we have here is we have a Glory Thompson. I'll click into it so we can have a look. I've actually already bought my skins today. So, I would add some of these to the cart. So, we'll just add them now. For example, we'll say we'll add two, but the thing with this is it comes uh, adding on to the glory set. So the only thing that actually isn't in the glory set now is the bolty, and we'll check out the glory set. As you can see, everything in the glory set is from two dollars and thirty-four cents onwards. So anyone that has invested in the glory set at all, everyone has made profit. Anyone that has invested in this set. So every single skin has made profit, especially the Glor Glory AK-47. So what I'm trying to say with the Glory Thompson is invest in that because, as I said before, there's only two Thompsons on the community market at the moment, and this one's already in a successful set of skins. So definitely buy that one, and that one will definitely go up in price. People will be hyped about it. The second one is the Mysterious Colt Thompson. So the unique thing about this is it doesn't have its little uh, butt like slash stock on the back. Uh, it's not complete, so it makes it a unique skin. What makes this unique, and I would add two of these to mine as well. So that's what I did. I bought two of these and uh, three of the Glory Thompsons. Now we'll move over to the MP5. Now the MP5 sales aren't actually as good. So the cheapest MP5 is $1.80. Unfortunately with the MP5s is there's obviously a much larger range of uh, selection. Um, in saying that though, it's a Phantom skin. So that means it's actually a part of the Phantom collection. So that's the Phantom collection and it's starting at $3.08. Now I'm not 100% sure what the price was for the Phantom Python at the start. I can't remember. I think it was $1.99. But... Um, I'm pretty sure every single Phantom skin so far you have made money on as well. So that's also a successful uh, skin set. I wouldn't actually recommend buying this one today just because it's $4.20 uh, Australian. But the higher the price, it's going to be harder for you to make profit. So that's another thing you have to remember. I'll go over this later. But um, it's just a higher risk and there's a possibility that it might not sell for over $4.20. And you also have to take into account the Steam taxing. Uh, unfortunately, they will take a cut. So I'm not going to recommend getting this one today. We'll go over to the next weapon, which is the Playmaker AK. So I do think that this AK is going to go up in price. So it's got the retro theme to it. Uh, Super Dome Raider, it says on the little screen of the AK. And it's a stockless AK. 
Um, unfortunately, we have had an oversaturation of uh, stockless AKs, in my opinion, lately. Um, so that won't make them as expensive. But obviously, we do have one of the most expensive AKs in the game, which is the Battle Scarred AK. It's an OG AK. And that was the first ever one that didn't have a stock. I bought it this week just because I actually want to keep this skin. So yeah, that's that one. I wouldn't recommend buying it as an investment to make money. Uh, the only time I would actually ever recommend you buying it to make money is if that you bought it on the day. So you will obviously be too late today by the time I upload this video. Uh, what you would want to do uh, if you live in Australia, go on and check your skins every Saturday. And if you live in America or anything like that, then go on on a Friday. That's when the, rele uh, the release of the new skins come out. Check them out, buy them. And then there's a seven week, uh, seven day cooldown on when you can sell your skins on the community market. And then once that cooldown ends, try and sell them on the day that it ends so that you're selling it on the first day that everyone else can sell their AKs or other skins as well. So that's when you'll make your most profit until later on. It will be a lot more risky. So you might have to wait a little longer if you wanted to make a profit on it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is actually unique skins. So anything that has anything to do with like a meme or something stupid. For example, the Brony set, extremely successful set. So if you were an investor and you bought this stuff like I did, then you made a lot of money. I'll just show you one more example of uh, troll skins or meme skins that I like to call them, uh, is the Troll Daddy set. So this is a relatively successful set. Uh, the only thing I would say you lost profit on would either be the AK or the metal chase pl chest plate, and that's only because of oversaturation. So as you can see, the quantity on the Troll Daddy chest plate, the metal chest plate, is 460. So that's, in my opinion, and definitely the reason why they're only starting at $1.34 compared to you're looking at the Troll Daddy road sign kill eight, starting at $8.53. So it's supply over demand. Okay, so why I said that, this Prancing Pony LR, as you can see, is a massive meme. It's literally got a unicorn spewing out a uh, rainbow and then it has a dead cloud on the back of it when you ADS. So all of the fans of uh, memes are going to love this skin. So coincidentally, it's $4.20. I would add that one to the cart if you want to make money buy that it's a little bit more of a risk because it's more expensive but I do think it's going to go up in price by quite a bit the uh, trolls will buy it and uh, all of the people that miss out will have to obviously buy it on the community market and that's when it'll go up in price uh, straight up from the face you can see that this is a pretty edgy skin now I don't personally invest in armored doors uh, that often although if they're edgy skins, I actually didn't buy it this week, but if they are edgy skins, uh, if they are edgy skins like this Hellfire Portal, I bought this for $1.99 or something like that, maybe cheaper, um, and now it's going for $12.23. So that's just because it's some edgy skin and it has a demon on it. If it's anything demonic, then people will want to buy it. The Box from Hell uh, is another good example when I'm talking about edgy skins. Uh, so there was also an AK from Hell and it had the same pattern on it. Um, it came out before the box from hell and it became really expensive. So when the box from hell came out, I don't actually buy edgy skins, but I saw that the AK was expensive. So I knew that this was going to be expensive. So that's what I talk about when it comes to sets as well, sets of skins. So now this is starting at $17.26 and I'm pretty sure I bought it for around about $1.50. So that's massive profit right there. I personally didn't invest in it, but you could invest in it and you'll most likely make your money um, back, if not make a little bit of a profit, I don't think you'll make too much just because the armored doors don't go up at the moment too much. Okay, moving on to the next skin, we've got the freight crate. So, anything, any skin to do with law, uh, for example, the Oxum's uh, employee cap and the uh, space program. Yeah, so what I'm talking about is uh, like all of the cobalt stuff and anything that has a name in Rust and is named and themed to that kind of thing, like the uh, cargo ship, for example, uh, and the scientists and the workers, uh, all that kind of stuff will make you profit. So, so I would recommend buying this, just because I do think it will go up in price. So we'll add that one to the cart, continue shopping. 
Okay, last but not least is the spider furnace. So obviously it's just a furnace skin. It goes from a yellow to red fade, bottom to top, and then it has a spider in the middle. So usually I would say glowing skins actually will make you more money, but in saying that, uh, this doesn't really apply to furnace skins just because pretty much every furnace skin has a glowing part these days, unfortunately. We've got three furnaces just on this screen, uh, on this first page here, that have glowing stuff on it. Definitely, it makes it a lot less unique for furnaces. So, overall, I probably wouldn't actually recommend getting this furnace skin. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this week's skins. I'll keep doing videos about these skins uh, probably every week, and I'll go through why I think you should or should not invest in each skin. So today we're going to be investing in six skins, or possibly more, possibly less, depending on how much money you have and are willing to spend. Okay, now, so we're just going to have a quick recap on everything I've talked about, and then I'm going to go over a few things that I actually haven't talked about. The reason we're buying the Thompsons is because there's only two Thompsons on the market, so that's the supply and demand, and you're going to want uh, to buy them so that you can make money when people want to buy more Thompsons. So you have to actually be careful of oversaturation as well. So for example, the quantity, yeah, 460 quantity on the metal chest plate. Unfortunately, that's going to bring skins down. But at the moment, you should be fine. And another way you can check is by going to your Ross item store and then checking the top sellers. So at the moment, the AK is selling the most. Another thing to remember is the more expensive the skin, the riskier the investment. So for example, I bought actually two dragon masks for $12.50 each. Fortunately, they ended up being $5.18 each on the community market. Another tip on the other hand is usually things that are $5 will end up actually going up in price. So for example, the gold metal face mask, I bought this for $5 and now it's $22.92. Just don't forget about the seven day cooldown on selling skins. So that will happen as soon as you buy them. It'll start, it's just like a trade cooldown. So usually I would try, I'm, I live in Australia, so I'll buy them on Saturdays so that I can sell them uh, the first day that everyone else can sell them as well, the next Saturday. And then for Americans and other people like that, you guys can buy them on Fridays and do the exact same thing as what I'm doing. Uh, just remember to keep an eye out on unique skins like the Skull Fire Pits I showed you guys and the Glory, enti the entire Glory set. So because it was white, as I said, uh, the Chads want to be seen while they're in PvP uh, just so they can stomp kids. So you want to buy stuff that's unique. Adding on to the skin thing, we want to go for meme skins as well. So don't forget about your Brony kits, all of them, all pink. Basically anything that's troll, batteries not included. Uh, all, all of these kind of skins are going to make you profit. Um, so I would definitely try and stick with buying those kind of skins as well. Uh, another thing you need to keep an eye out for is pay to win skins. For example, the Glory SAR, and it also would have been the Glory AK. Uh, I bought this for, I'm pretty sure it was $1.99 or something like that. Now it's $34.23. So there are all my tips for today. I hope you guys uh, have learned something new. Uh, have a skits one. See ya.